Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Democrats, independents, and to the millions of Republicans who don't recognize the party they saw and heard in Cleveland and cannot support their party's nominee for president and vice president. <clears throat> 25 years ago, I got to know Hillary Clinton when she worked to achieve a goal, the goal that was a goal a century ago, goal of Harry Truman to give us all universal health care. Between the aspirations of Harry Truman and the accomplishment of Barack Obama, there was Hillary, poised and persistent. <clears throat> when her first attempt at health care did not work out, Hillary could have given up. Instead, she fought the way she always did. She did her homework. She persevered. She never forgot who she was fighting for. And thanks to her effort, the state children's health insurance program was born, and she worked just as hard to ensure that the states actually signed up, joining with Republican governors to get it done. Today, more than 8 million children have health insurance as a result. That is 8 million children whose families don't have to choose between paying the rent and taking them to the doctor. When President Obama took office, he picked up the fight. And with the Affordable Health Care Act passed, we expanded insurance to 20 million more people. Today, 90% of Americans are covered, and we have made so much progress. And now we need to elect the person who will finish the job, Hillary Rodham Clinton, has a plan to drive down health care costs. Hillary has a plan to stand up to the drug companies and lower prescription drug prices. And Hillary has a plan to take us the last mile and finally achieve health care for all Americans. That is what Hillary will do. Now, Donald Trump has a plan, too. He would rip up Obamacare and throw 20 million people off their health insurance. Donald Trump will take us back to a time when insurance companies can deny you coverage if you have a pre-existing condition. Or he will take you back to the time where insurance companies could charge you more just because you were a woman. And what is he going to replace this with? Uh, quote, something so much better, huge, no doubt. That's it. That's the whole plan right there, six-word plan for health care. His vice presidential pick is no better. Mike Pence voted against expanding the children's health insurance program, which Hillary helped to start. Mike Pence voted against requiring insurance companies to cover mental health and addiction treatment. Mike Pence voted to end Medicare as we know it. By the way, Mike Pence once said that when both parents work, children end up facing, quote, stunted emotional growth. I have a medical degree. Let me tell you what really stunts children's growth. Not having access to health care, inadequate funding for school nutrition programs, guns, the ultimate public health crisis, Cigarettes. I hear Governor Pence missed the memo, but they do, in fact, cause cancer, Governor, and no amount of tobacco money contributions to your campaign can change that, Governor. The choice in this election is clear. We need a president 
whose decisions are rooted in the facts. We need a president who will defend our interests around the world and who knows what it takes to defeat and destroy ISIS, not with ignorant bluster and bombast, but with a toughness and resolve. We need a president who will ensure that the wealthiest among us play by the same rules as hard-working middle-class Americans. And we need a president who will never stop fighting to ensure that universal health care is a basic human right. And if that is the president we want, if that is the America that we believe in, then do not wait until November to make your voice heard. Go to HillaryClinton.com to donate right now. Help make history and volunteer, because this race is going to be won on the ground. And it's going to be won in Colorado, and in Iowa, and North Carolina, and Michigan, and Florida, and Pennsylvania. And then we're going to the White House.